Our next speaker is Babaka Patel. She is a breast imager here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona, and she's going to talk to us about contrast-enhanced digital mammography, which is also another new kid on the block. Thanks for having me and wonderful talk. So uh, a, a little disclosure, I have given educational talks on Hologic here at Mayo. Um, we are the probably have one of the largest case sets in, in the United States. We started using this in 2014, um, late 2014, and we're one of the first testing sites for Hologic. So it's been a very exciting modality. We started it right when I uh, joined, and I've been able to see how it was implemented, and that's really what we help um, train other radiologists into how to best use this modality. So today we're going to be, first of all, recognize it, just see some cases of it. We'll review the clinical workflow if you're interested in trying to implement it, and then um, show some clinical cases. So we all basically know why mammography is important. It's the only modality shown to decrease breast cancer mortality. Therefore, um, it's implemented as in, a, in a screening standpoint. So what is with all these new imaging modalities that we're discussing today? Well, clearly mammography um, could be improved, right? So over time, studies have shown that the sensitivity for mammography was quoted to be anywhere from 75 to 85 percent. But as time has gone on, we've seen that in more recent studies um, with advances such as the 3D tomosynthesis or MRI, where there's actually more cancers that may be lurking underneath the dense breast tissue but we weren't aware of. So this is particularly important in the high-risk patient population, and dense breast obviously has been very um, much talked about these days. So there is a limited sensitivity, and why is that? Well, dense breast tissue, as you can see on this picture, is white. Cancer is white. So it causes what we call a masking effect. Therefore, in these dense-breasted patients, um, oops, sorry, we're not really, we're not able to see the cancer underlying the dense tissue, hence the limited sensitivity. Additionally, we have limited specificity. So typically, whenever I'm doing a breast biopsy or recommending one, I'll let the patients know ahead of time. You know, you have a, a lesion that looks somewhat suspicious, but three and four of the times that we do these biopsies is actually benign. So we could potentially decrease these false positives, a lot of anxiety, a lot of cost, a lot of pain for the patients that are involved. So there's ways for us to definitely improve um, the current state. <clears throat> this is a, um, a, a graph sh clearly showing that over time, supplement so this is showing incremental cancer detection rate. For mammography, studies have cited anywhere from four to five per thousand is typically what we expect and we hope to see as a radiologist. So when we're doing our audits, you want to make sure that you're kind of on point with that. You'll notice here in this schematic, though, as these are patients that had, four, had mammo only, as you start adding supplemental...